Okay, so I got my wood ring ready. I got my fleece over top of this. I was just kind of doing a test fit. Um, so this is essentially what you're doing when you do the face of the box. Just a regular polyester fleece, nothing special. Um, there is, it's hard to tell, there's kind of a one side that's got a little more fur to it than the other. This side's a little bit smoother, not by much, but if you can differentiate between a furry side and a smooth side, always have the smooth side facing up, um, it's easier to apply the resin to it. But essentially, you're just draping this whole fabric over here and you're stretching it around the back of that shell, just like that. And then you're gonna resin all the way around this corner where my thumb is and all the way behind the box, maybe about an inch is what I do to, to seal it up. Um, but all this stuff will go away once once we stretch it over there. Let me show you my ring for the subwoofer. Oh, the reveal. Just kidding. Uh, okay, sorry about the mess, guys. Let me uh, move this out of the way. All right, so there's my ring. Three quarter inch MDF. Uh, two panels of it. Um, I'm not worried about this edge. You're, you're never gonna see this. Nobody's ever gonna see these. Um, nobody's ever even gonna see the wood itself. It's all gonna be covered. The speaker's gonna cover this part down here. So the speaker will be inset in this channel in here. Um, I routed out the corner edge, so that'll be smooth, a smooth transition. Um, anyways, but you just use uh, pieces of scrap wood as stilts uh, to put this ring into position where you want it um, and then just hot glue it that's all it is um, and honestly once I get done with the face there's some people that will come in and knock these out um, once the face is on and the fiberglass is in um, I just leave mine in they're not hurting anything uh, they won't go anywhere um, it just adds structure if anything it, it definitely doesn't hurt anything now if they break off as you know the speakers playing and they break off and rattle around inside there then yeah you're gonna have to take the speaker off and remove them from the box but um, I make sure before I'm done I'll actually put some fiberglass mat and resin just around the base of this and then put a little resin around here just to help seal these in there it just gives me more structure on the box so the stronger these boxes are the better the more uh, abuse they'll take from a subwoofer but it's really hard to judge uh, how this thing is going to sit. I'll show you a video later uh, when I test fit it in the trunk. But uh, that's kind of basically what you're getting at. But figured I'd show you where my progress is, guys, and uh, how I do these things. So on to the next step. I finally got my wiring kit in. Only took them a day. Uh, they were a day late, a dollar short on my wiring kit, so now I get to start that. So we'll see you on the next one.